Well, I'm outside St Kirita Church in Porth Kerry for the Churches Unlocked Festival. It is a beautiful day today. It's a beautiful day to come exploring. St Kirita Church is set in a very tranquil setting with a walk down to Porth Kerry Park through the trees and the uh, extra excitement of the aeroplanes coming. We walk into the churchyard through the lich gate. You can hear the farms outside, tractors working. And there's the beautiful St Kirig's Church in its setting. See how beautifully mown the lawns are. JJ Gardening do the lawns for us. Sunlit and gorgeous. So you can visit today and every day this week. We're open 10 till 4. So you can explore the grounds, check out the graves. We've also got the registers for you to have a look at. I'll show you those in a moment's time. So let's walk down the path. Of course, there's the, uh, the trees there that uh, lead through to Paul Kerry House. You can hear the aeroplanes going over. Just a, just a small aeroplane this time, if you can see it up there. Not one of the jumbo jets. Most of those have already passed, passed over today. You can see as we come, here's the, uh, the preaching cross where John Wesley preached on uh, one of his three visits here to Port Kerry Church. So we go in through the gates. Now those, uh, those wrought iron gates we're hoping we'll be able to replace before too long with some beautiful glazed doors. So it'll add to the attractiveness of the church and also protect the inside. Because as we go in, we can see uh, here, we've got the beautiful medieval door. And this is quite a feature. If you want to know more about it, it's got some very special markings on it. So if you want to know more about it, then, uh, then, uh, then you can come and listen to uh, Graham's talk when he comes uh, next Saturday at two o'clock. You can see some of the ladies here are uh, getting ready with the, the bells. You can have a bell ringing demonstration and have a little try um, later on uh, today, well, in actual fact from 10 minutes time, half past 10 till half past 12. The lovely Kim will show you how the bells work and you can have a try as well. When we come into the church, you can see here another one of the, the features, this wonderful uh, monument here dating from the 17th century. So it's, it's a great example of the type of literacy of the age. You spot the, the spellings and also it's a, a monument that's been reused. You can see different people's names superimposed. And also there's the organ, uh, World War I memorial organ, fully restored in, uh, I think it was something like 20. Uh, 14 or 15 and when we had it restored we discovered that uh, there was an RAF roundel on one of the boards of wood inside the organ which was quite uh, an interesting feature. We've got a, a slideshow um, of pictures over the last 10 years you can see above the, uh, the pulpit there and the beautiful um, pre-reformation screen it did survive all the ravages of the Reformation, and, uh, and there it is. And uh, here we have uh, Graham, he's gonna be doing a talk later. There he is, our, our, local, our local author and presenter. Say hello, Graham. Hi, hello everyone. <laughs> so you can hear Graham um, speaking next, next Saturday at two o'clock. Lots of interesting features of the church and the people um, who are buried in the churchyard as well. So, uh, so do come along to that. So as I said, we're, we're open um, from 10 o'clock till 4 every day until the 11th. And there's all sorts of things going on at the weekends. We have got trails for the children with prizes. So do, do come along, bring your children, make it part of a day out uh, down to Porco Park, perhaps. And uh, if you enjoy singing, we've got a command for Ghani at uh, 6 o'clock tomorrow night. And, uh, and then the following Sunday, the 11th, we've got a celebration service there's going to be organ music violin poetry um all sorts of lovely things and just before i go 
if uh, you wonder what all the fuss is about at Christianity, we've got a display here and you can have a New Testament for free. So come along, have a New Testament for free. Read it, bring questions to me. I love answering questions about the Bible. So uh, if you want to come and take one and, uh, and read it, bring your questions to me and I'll have a good go at answering them. And if you've enjoyed visiting our church, then you can pick up a leaflet and you can see all the other churches in the area that are also taking part in the festival. And uh, when the weather's like this, it's definitely uh, the best place to be. So, so do come along, we'd love to see you.